Hey there, and welcome to the third video of my series on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'll be going over object selection. Please note that I'm using AutoCAD 2015, and as such, there will be visual differences between what is on my screen and what you've got, given that you're not using AutoCAD 2015. So let's get started here by giving an overview of the different kinds of selection that we're going to be doing. We're going to do what's called a left dragging selection. We're going to do a right dragging selection. We're going to do a single click or one off selection. We're going to do lassoing. We're going to talk about adding things to your selection and we're going to talk about removing things from your selection. And then we're going to talk about getting rid of your selection altogether. So let's go ahead and start with the left dragging selection. The way that you do this is by clicking and dragging to the left. It doesn't matter whether or not you are dragging up into the left or down into the left as long as you're going from the right to the left. And what this will do is it will select anything that that selection box touches. Any object that's anywhere inside the selection box will be selected. So you, again, you can see here I'm just selecting around this post, but I get line work all the way around this staircase as well as some of these dimension lines that we've selected. So that's the left dragging selection, again where you click and you drag to the left. The right dragging selection is a little different from that, and what that does, again, clicking and dragging to the right this time, um, anything that's selected entirely by the, by the marquee that you're drawing, um, so anything that's enclosed within that box will be selected, but everything else will be ignored. So for example, we go ahead and click and drag to the left here, and you'll see we get all the line work here. If we click and drag to the right, we only get this post, and that's it. And again, that's because the post is the only thing that's completely enclosed in our selection box. The next kind of selection is single click or one off selection. And this is, again, this is fairly straightforward. Um, this is what a lot of software will have you do. It doesn't give you the option to lasso like this, or to lasso to marquee like that. So, um, what you do is you just find an object and you click on it. Find an object and click on it. And that's how it works. The last thing I wanted to show you here in terms of selection is the ability to lasso. And this is a new feature in AutoCAD 2015. It's pretty exciting. I've been using AutoCAD for coming up on 20 years here. And um, this is a feature that I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, what this lets you do is it lets you click and make a lasso. Um, just like in a lot of other graphical software. And again, depending on the direction that you click and drag, whether you're going clockwise or counterclockwise, you're going to get different behavior out of your lasso. So you'll notice here, if I click and lasso, dragging counterclockwise on top of these lines, nothing gets selected. And again, this is because this going counterclockwise is treated the same as, um, as a right dragging marquee selection. So uh, and conversely, clicking and dragging clockwise is the same as clicking and dragging uh, a marquee to the left. So, two things to be aware of. Now, when you're working with AutoCAD, a lot of times you'll get these drawings that are pretty dense, right? Um, and you'll want to make selections of things, and you'll, you may get something accidentally, or um, you want to go and just one fell swoop, get a whole bunch, and then pair back on what's in there, or or uh, or what have you. So let's talk about adding objects to your selection and removing objects from your selection. So in order to add objects to your selection, it's fairly straightforward. You just make another selection. So AutoCAD doesn't dump your selection once you are done with it. I'm not pressing anything here. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going to make another selection. And you'll see AutoCAD picks up more objects. AutoCAD picks up more objects, I can make a selection over here, and this is all added to my selection. Now if I want to get rid of objects from my selection, I go ahead and hold the Shift key on the keyboard and do the same selection. And again, any of these selections can be used in conjunction with each other. You don't have to use just one kind, and the, and, um, the behavior of your selection is the same. Um, whether you're holding the shift key or not. So if I wanted to deselect just that right there, but I wanted to get that back, you can use all the different selection tools that we've talked about here um, in concert with each other. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was total deselection. And if you're used to any kind of graphical software, um, 
you'll probably have a reflex to the escape key and your reflex is spot on. So if you, let's say we select everything and oh shoot, I don't want to select everything, just press the escape key and it will drop your selection. Anyhow, that's about it for selection. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you have any comments, stick them down there too. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.